Yo dudes, Jason here, hope you're doing well. Uh, just a very short tutorial covering a solution to one of the biggest issues that I've had with this software, and that is the saving and then transporting our files over to a different machine um, or to a hard drive or something like that, just so you can continue with your work. Uh, if you take your files home with you, you will have to take them somewhere else. All right, so up until now, the only workaround I could find for the save issue was just rendering out however far I could get um, in my work process. So let's just say 24 frames, I'd render that out, re-import it as a um, image sequence and then continue with my animation from there. So that's one way of doing it. Um, but thankfully, the lovely people on the subreddit of OpenTunes as well as the OpenTunes forum and one of my students who knows she, who she is, um, thank you again for showing this uh, solution to me. Um, so as I understand it, you'll see here that the project itself currently reads Sandbox. Now this is found inside of the area uh, that you sort of installed OpenTunes um, and then you'll find like a Sandbox folder there and that's where all your assets are actually saved. So even though it saves like the layer information, the actual assets that you're creating are being saved inside of this project. And that's why when we copy the save file, assets are being left behind. All right, so the solution to this is just creating a new project. Um, I can choose wherever I want this to be. Um, and I can, yeah, just choose whatever. I can then um, label this just as um, test project, for example. Um, and yeah, I will then just say okay to that. You'll see then that I now have options. So as many projects as I choose, you'll see that I am now uh, I or sorry words as many projects as I create I will then have those options here all right so I'll leave it on test um, I can choose where I want to save these two so currently it's um, going to yeah applications open tunes open tunes stuff projects and this is now the test project all right you can see that there normally it would that would read sandbox all right so that's kind of how we would go about doing that there's sandbox over there all right um, which is sort of like, like I said, normally where everything goes. Um, okay, so that has now been set up. And then when I find that file, um, it'll be different on, well, it should be the same on all of our machines. We kind of follow the same installation route, but yeah, depending on Windows or Mac, find your project, so test project in this case, and copy that. And uh, you can put that on a hard drive, different machine, and it will work perfectly. You can also run it off of a memory stick and still have all your files. So there we go. Nice, super, super quick. I'll be following this one up with another very quick tutorial just on rendering and then how to uh, import that image sequence that it creates into After Effects. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, have a great day further. Ciao.